All right, here we go. Let's let's look at the first couple because this has gotten my students a little confused. We actually did an example like this a second ago. It's actually just like this one right here. Remember, remember the one where I gave you the answer and you had to figure out what went on the inside? That's what we're gonna do here. So let's work through a couple of these together. So the answer is 11. That means that, remember, the answer is the thing that gets multiplied by itself multiple times. And then the thing inside is what you would get when you did that. Does anybody know what 11 times 11 is? Is it 121? And feel free to use your calculator if you need to. So what goes inside of here? 121. So the square root of 121 is 11 because 11 times 11 is 121, right? So this time I'm giving you the answer. The answer multiplies by itself to equal the thing inside. What's gonna go inside here? If I multiply seven times itself, what am I gonna get? 49. You get the idea? Let's look at three. Now this is a cube root. So this answer needs to multiply by, it, by itself how many times? Three times. So two times two times two equals and that number that I get should be the thing on the inside. What should it be? Six is my favorite mistake. Nice. It's eight, though. Do you see why? It's so easy to, 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 to do six. I make that mistake so many times, so many times. Yeah, because what are you thinking in your head when you say six? What do you, what do, you do with two three times to get six? Two plus two plus two is six, right? Oh, it's, it, I, I do that all the time. Thank you. Thank you for making my favorite mistake for that one. Um, but it's eight, right? Two times two is four times two is eight. All right. Um, come down to number 13 with me. Do you guys, this is what we just did, right? You guys feeling confident on these? What's the answer to number 13? 13. What's the answer to number 16? The three and the three would cancel out, so 15. You guys good on those? Oh, what's the answer to number 19? Just F. When you get down to the bottom, and by the way, I apologize that my numbers are all screwy and they repeat, um, like number 13's here, but then there's a 13 here and a 13 here because I screwed up. Um, when you get down to the bottom, I'd like you to try as many of these, do as many of these without your calculator as you can, but you're gonna have to use your calculator for some of them, okay? Also, one last thing, scratch out number 10 here. I wish I had not put that one on there. Scratch out number 10. There is one trick problem on this page that you cannot do aside from number 10. You're gonna type it in your calculator and it's gonna give you an error. Okay, so there's one, in, one on here that's actually impossible to do. We'll talk about that in a minute. Could you guys take uh, about 10 minutes right now Finish that up. If you finish early, don't worry about the back side. You can go ahead and start on your, your assignment. Um, we're going to come together in about 10 minutes and do the back side together, and then we'll be finished, and you guys will be able to relax for a few minutes.